हेलो गाइस इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट प्रोटीन इंफॉर्मेशन रिसोर्सेज और प्रोटीन डाटा बेसिस सो विदाउट एनी डिले लेट स्टार्ट द वीडियो सो बिफोर गोइंग इन टू प्रोटीन इंफॉर्मेशन रिसोर्सेज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इट शुड बी क्लियर टू अस दैट व्हाट इज अ डाटा बेस सो एज यू नो डाटा बेस इज एन आरकाइव टू स्टोर और टू कोलेक्ट द डाटा so that the data can be easily retrieved later on and the protein information resources so these are the databases which contain the structural as well as functional information about the various proteins so the protein databases they ultimately make the protein information resources now here are the certain example of protein databases or the protein information resources so first one is the pir that is protein information resource so this pir it provide the protein sequence and functional information of various species and the research center means from where it is operated so its research center is at national biomedical research foundation that is nbrf in georgetown university medical center washington usc next is pdb so pdb stand for protein data bank so pdb is a stereographic database for 3d structural data of large biomolecules like proteins nucleic acids pdb is a freely accessible on net via websites of its member organization that is pdb e pdb j and rc sb its research center like pdb e is of europe pdb J is of Japan and R C S B means Research Collaboratory for Structural Bioinformatics Protein Data Bank. It is operated from the University of California, which is in USA. Next is Tremble, that is T R E M B L. So Tremble stands for Translated E M B L. Translated E M B L in which the E M B L means European Molecular Biology Laboratory this tremble is a computer annotated supplement of swiss prot that contain all the translation of embl nucleotide sequence entries means this tremble it contain the translated embl sequences means the sequences the nucleotide sequences which are there in embl so this tremble it has the translated EMBL nucleotide sequences the research center of this tremble is EBI in Europe and EMBL in Cambridge UK next is uniprot so here uniprot stand for universal protein and this database it is a collection of this three databases that is swissprot pir and tremble so these three they ultimately makes the uniprot this uniprot is also a freely accessible database of protein sequences and functional information many entries these are being derived directly from the genome sequencing project the research center of this uniprot is switch institute of bioinformatics switzerland ebi uk and george town university medical center usa so these three are the research center of this uniprot the next database that is refsq refsq stand for the reference sequences so this refsq is an open access annotated curated collection of publicly available nucleotide sequences that is either dna and rna and also their protein product the research center of this refsq is national center for biotechnology information that is ncbi at usa the next database that is swiss prot the swiss prot stand for swiss protein so this swiss prot it is a struct you can say it is a curated protein sequence database which provides a high level annotation such as description of the function of proteins its domain structure post translation modification variants and many more information is there in the swiss prot the research center of swiss prot so this swiss prot was created at the department of medical biochemistry of university of geneva and it has a collaboration with the department and european molecular biology laboratory since 
नेक्स्ट डाटा बेस विच द पार्ट ऑफ पी आई आर प्रोटीन इंफॉर्मेशन रिसोर्स इज स्कोप एस सी ओ पी हेयर स्कोप स्टैंड फॉर स्ट्रक्चरल क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ प्रोटीन सो दिस स्कोप डाटा बेस इट हैज अ वेरी लार्ज क्लासिफिकेशन डाटा ऑफ प्रोटीन मीन्स इट हैज अ मैनुअली क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ प्रोटीन स्ट्रक्चरल डोमेन्स बेस्ड ऑन द सिमिलैरिटी ऑफ द स्ट्रक्चर्स एंड अमान एसिड सिक्वेंसिस द रिसर्च सेंटर ऑफ दिस स्कोप इज एट मेडिकल रिसर्च काउंसिल लेबोरेटरी ऑफ मोलिको बायोलॉजी यूनाइटेड किंगडम नेक्स्ट डाटा बेस इज कैथ सी ए टी एच हे द कैथ स्टैंड फॉर क्लास आर्किटेक्ट टोपोलॉजी एंड होमोलॉजी सो दिस कैथ प्रोटीन स्ट्रक्चरल क्लासिफिकेशन डाटा बेस इट इज अ फ्रीली पब्लिकली अवेलेबल रिसोर्स विच प्रोवाइड द इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट द एवोल्यूशनरी रिलेशनशिप ऑफ प्रोटीन डोमेन्स मीन्स इफ यू वॉन्ट टू स्टडी द एवोल्यूशनरी रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन द डिफरेंट प्रोटीन सो यू कैन गो टू दिस कैथ डाटा बेस द रिसर्च सेंटर ऑफ दिस डाटा बेस इज एट ओरी गैनो ग्रुप एट द यूनिवर्सिटी कॉलेज लंदन नेक्स्ट डाटा बेस दैट इज पी फैम सो पी फैम स्टैंड फॉर द प्रोटीन फैमिली सो दिस पी फैम इज अ डाटा बेस ऑफ प्रोटीन फैमिलीज दैट इंक्लूड देयर annotations and multiple sequence alignments which are usually generated by the hmm models that is hidden markov model the research center of this pfm is european bioinformatics institute in europe and molecular biology laboratory group cambridge united kingdom the next protein database is interpro so this interpro it provide a functional analysis of protein by classifying them into families and domains and important sites so this interpro it gives the functional analysis of proteins on the basis of the you can say their domains and very important sites present on the proteins the research center of this interpro is ebi in europe and embl group in uk so these all the database these are you can say these are also called as protein information resources because we are getting the information about proteins from these databases so this is all about protein information resources or protein databases so see you in the next video thank you very much